Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Tech back again with yet another video for you guys. And I know I didn't really post this week, I didn't post my regular videos on Wednesday. It's because I'm actually gearing up for the iPhone 12 which is starting pre-orders next Friday so I'm really really excited. I really want to get the 12 Pro Max so I'm actually really looking forward to that device. But anyways, today's video is going to be pretty short because I'm just going to be showing some test footage from the GoPro Hero 9 Black. I actually made this video like a couple of weeks back but I didn't really want to upload this because I really didn't do much testing with the GoPro Hero 9 Black yet and I didn't want to just uh, jump into conclusions and saying oh this, this, this camera is great and should upgrade from the Hero 8. No, that's not the reason this channel exists because this channel is all based on real usage which is basically really testing out the device. So I actually used this in my previous review. I actually used this Hero 9 Black in my previous Startron Demon review. And from that video, I realized that actually, yes, the quality is actually improved. And I also had to tweak some settings because, you know, I have my presets currently on the, the Hero 9 Black because I think the basic settings, the stock settings, no, they are not good enough for general use, you know, the video is kind of noisy at night. But uh, with these updated settings, I think it really improves the video quality overall. But in this video, we're just going to be testing out how the video quality looks like. And new features like Hyper Smooth 3.0 and the Horizon Leveling. Those are great features in my opinion, especially if you do a lot of action spots. I think the Horizon Leveling is something that I really do like, especially if you're vlogging. If I'm vlogging, I would turn on horizon leveling because I think no matter how you shift the camera, the horizon will always be level. I think that's a great addition and something that uh, the Insta360 really does for a while now. But uh, for GoPro, I think it's a really, really good improvement, especially with this screen here. Uh, this screen actually helps me frame a shot when I'm sort of vlogging and I'm reviewing a product and I need to see myself. I uh, see whether everything's in frame, the product in frame. Yeah, this screen is really helpful. So overall, this camera is really, really good. So that's about what I can say for this camera. Battery life has also improved. Uh, I do like the battery life on this and I think the mic has improved as well. I think the mic quality is much better. The bit rate is higher and it shows up to 5K video. I mean, I don't really need 5K video. My computer can't handle 5K videos. So the sample shots you'll be seeing are probably shot in 4K or 2.7K and then downscaled to 1080p. So yeah, you definitely lose some quality. But overall, you can see from the video that the quality has improved a teeny little bit because they have actually changed out the sensor and now it's a slightly bigger sensor. But the bigger sensor is still small if you compare to a mirrorless camera so you don't expect too much improvement from the Hero 8. But it does uh, help especially in photos as well. I think the Super Photo, the HDR mode has improved. So I think that's a great addition especially if you are going to be using the GoPro basically for vlogging, for trip videos, for taking pictures on your vacation, stuff like that. Of course, I know 2020 is not a time for vacation, but hopefully after everything clears and you're taking this out, this camera will definitely not disappoint you. Honestly, I've, I didn't really need an, a second battery even. The Hero 8, I had to have three batteries spare in my bag because the batteries just kept on dying. But however, with this Hero 9, that all those issues are solved but this video is actually going to be focusing more on real world use so that concludes my video this is going to be a super duper short one and i will be seeing you guys next week for more coverage especially on the upcoming iphone 12 i have a ton of accessories already waiting for me to review uh but i really can't wait to have my hands on the iphone 12 because i think malaysia always gets it late but uh, it is a good thing that yes because of the delay for the iphone 12 pro max we get it at the same time as everyone else in the other places of the globe so i think that's a great thing this year at least that concludes my video thanks guys for watching hope you guys like this footage if you did like it give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video